And good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a new distributor training for this Saturday morning. My name is Fred Holmes. I'm an independent distributor with ZJ International and, and uh, today sharing the ZJ love. Uh, excited to be here with you. And uh, uh, this Saturday morning is kind of special because uh, uh, I, I shared with, or for those of you that are on, the, on my mailing list, you got a little uh, notification of this or maybe um, on Facebook. Um, we're going to be going through some specific activities that you can use as a new distributor or an existing distributor to establish momentum going into 2019 here in the last 24 days of the year. And if it seems like that's a short period of time, let me tell you that is 24 days of opportunity to set yourself up for success. Uh, in 2019. And so uh, first I wanna welcome all of you who've joined us uh, uh, during the little pre-meeting here before I started recording. I know there were a number of people from you know literally many, many different time zones that have joined us this morning. So excited to have all of you. Uh, I wanna extend a very special welcome to those of you that are new distributors. Uh, we have had a tremendous amount of growth here in just the last 60 days since um, since our uh, annual event in Florida, in Orlando, the, uh, the Zija Summit. Uh, we've had a tremendous amount of new uh, product introductions, new initiatives, um, new enhanced uh, parts of our compensation plan, and, and the buzz is out there, okay? Zija International is about to explode. Uh, we are ready, poised, to create the next generation of Zija Diamonds. And, uh, and, and I'm excited to be part of this right now. You know, I had a, the good fortune uh, a number of years ago to, to be part of the beginning of Zija. Uh, when I joined in 2008, Zija had been in business a little over two years, maybe about two and a half years, very small company, one product, uh, you know, an antiquated compensation plan, uh, literally very limited infrastructure, uh, um, infrastructure in the sense of being able to develop the company, the product infrastructure and the, the research and the science and, you know, millions have been invested in that, but we were a fledgling company and uh, it was a challenge, okay? It was a real challenge to create momentum back then. Uh, the, the singular advantage that I had uh, in 2008 when I launched my business is I'd already done this before. I'd been involved in network marketing in the past. Uh, I was, you know, I, I was, frankly, I was, I was very successful. Um, not saying that I'm particularly special, but I had the characteristics that create success in our profession. Uh, I had very good work ethics. Uh, I was extremely coachable. Uh, as a cross-country truck driver, my career before network marketing, I already knew that I didn't know what to do. And so I was very coachable. All I wanted to know is what do I do to create success? And I had a white hot burning desire to succeed. The future of my son was dependent upon my capacity to create a significant income and have the time freedom that's available in this type of home-based business. And, and I literally retired in 10 years. I mean, I was able to retire in my mid 40s and experience things that most people, you know, dream about experience when they hit their, you know, mid 60s. Now, when I joined Zeech International, uh, it, the process to create a significant residual income was crystal clear to me. All I was looking for was a vehicle a vehicle where the corporate leadership, the people that run the company had the same vision, the same integrity, the same commitment to the people that I wanted to be involved in, uh, the right kinds of products that met, you know, met recognized needs that were really gonna benefit people, and a long-term vision to create success in many, many other people. All I needed was the vehicle, because the process necessary to create that, you know, multiple six figure and now multiple seven figure income, uh, I already had that down. And that's what I want to share with you today. The specific things that I already knew 
the day I started my Zija business. And so I encourage you to grab your notepaper, grab your notebook, your journal, whatever it is that you are using today to commit to writing the accumulation of the knowledge that you're going to gain during your career of network marketing. Uh, today I have these really nice leather bound journals. I got the little gold foil on the side, the little, you know, ribbon thingy you know, like your Bible has, and, and uh, but that wasn't what I started with. I started with spiral notebooks, like, um, actually, <laughs> I got one right here, like this. This is what I started with, and uh, uh, I, I want to kind of point out that that's what I did, and I'm not saying that I'm the end-all, end-all, but I, I've done pretty good, and I learned very quickly in this industry 33, four years ago, that success leaves clues. And you may wanna write that in your notes. Success leaves clues. And if you want to have what the successful people have, then simply do what the successful people do. And one of the things that I've done over the years is I've accumulated many, many, many of these old spiral notebooks. And of course, over the years, I've been able to graduate to these you know, fancy dancy ones. The point is that you need to have something to start acquiring the knowledge that you're going to get or to, to, to you know, archive the knowledge that you're going to get over, the net, over your career in network marketing. So uh, uh, I want to uh, uh, start focused particularly on those of you that are relatively new to Zija or new to the network marketing industry. Uh, I want to give you a couple of quick things to do, and then I want to get into the notes that I have for this morning, because I do want to specifically give you that insight into correct activities for the next 24 days, because you have a little window of opportunity to be able to establish momentum in your Zija business, so you can hit January 1, 2019 on a roll. You do not want to waste the first few months of 2019 trying to establish momentum, okay? So, brand new distributors. First thing you want to do is you want to get oriented. You want to get established so that you understand what it is we do and how we do it. And so, if you haven't done so already, I encourage you to... Uh, go to my YouTube channel. I'm going to type, a, uh, type it here in the chat box so you can, you know, copy and paste it or whatever. Uh, my YouTube channel is at www.youtube.com forward slash Fred Holmes Zija. Now, when you go to that YouTube channel, uh, you're going to see uh, you know, an archive of all of the video presentations that, that myself and a number of others uh, produce. Uh, our Thursday night Biz Talks presentations will be there. That's where we do a, a weekly broadcast webinar sharing. It, it's geared to be the tool that you can use as a brand new distributor. Your job as a brand new distributor is to, you know, share the story. And this is a way to share the story, the company story, product story, the opportunity but in particular, to share the stories of people just like everybody else who have, within Zija, been able to create that you know, life unlimited that we dream about, be able to create time freedom, be able to create better health, be able to create financial independence. Um, these presentations are excellent tools. They're all archived on that website. Uh, you'll see, uh, you know, archive previous new distributor training is a Saturday morning uh, done by myself, people like Candace Smiley, uh, people like Doug Stroop, Amy McKenzie. Uh, you'll be able to see our, our monthly team meetings are also there. But in particular, I want to direct you to uh, a link on that, uh, on that website called Playlists. From the playlist, you will see a playlist that has four specific new distributor training videos. And I encourage you to spend some time going through those. The very first one is the longest. It's 30 minutes long. It's called New Distributor Training. It is what I learned uh, my very first Saturday morning in my very first network marketing company, uh, a company that has historically been known as, as providing some of the finest training in the multi-level industry and it's a it's a paraphrased version of what i heard 30 
33, 34 years ago for my first Saturday morning in network marketing. And that's what set up the rest of my career uh, and, and, and frankly, income in network marketing. It is specifically what it is that we do in network marketing and how we do it. So I encourage you to take 30 minutes and learn about this profession. Now, there are three more little videos that are part of that playlist. Um, they're about 10 minutes a piece, and those three little videos uh, combined would be what I would call the fast start training. And this is really important because, frankly, the easiest way to be successful in our business is to get off to a fast start. That's why I did those three little 10 minute videos. Uh, you know, how to create a prospect list, how to develop your personal story, uh, a 90 day game plan. These three things um, that you will review there are going to aid you in building your Zeej of business out of the gate very rapidly. Now, I'm not trying to tell you that those little training videos, it's probably a total of 60 minutes. I'm not going to try and tell you that's the end all, end all, and that's all you'll ever need to know. It's just simply what I have provided for the team and for Zeej at large. And I encourage you to take a look at that. You know, there's the, all that information in there. There's a lot of leaders in Zeej. I mean, I'm looking right now at, at a number of the, of the top field leaders, uh, you know, in Zeej are a part of this call today. And the, all of them have resources for you. And I encourage you to plug in to the resources of successful people I'm just offering these as, a, as one of many things that you can use to get off to a fast start. So now that you have that, let's talk specifically about creating momentum. Because a lot of people think, oh, it's December, we got the holidays, um, you know, people aren't interested in hearing me talk about my products or interested in hearing me talk about my uh, you know, my business opportunity. I don't want to bother people. Everybody's busy, you know, blah, 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 blah. Folks, you can find excuses to not do the deal. You don't even have to look that hard. Okay. What I'm sharing with you is the next 24 days can be incredibly strong in building momentum in your business. And I want to give an illustration right now. A uh, gentleman that, that I got to speak with on the phone here, I guess it was yesterday or the day before, Scott Taylor. Some of you may know Scott, okay? Uh, Scott, he, he's from the uh, Indiana area. Um, his sponsor is a, is a young couple that uh, many of you will recognize, uh, Brandon and Monica Cooper. Now, Brandon and Monica Cooper, they were recent guests on our Biz Talks presentation. If you didn't get a chance to see their presentation, you need to go see that. Go go to the YouTube channel and watch their presentation, their Biz Talks, uh, you know, uh, presentation. Because one of the people that they introduced to Zijam was Scott Taylor. Scott Taylor, I believe he's lost 90 pounds on our products. He's a busy sports professional, yet he has been able to build his Zija business to where he's now become part of our, you know, elite, you know, uh, uh, ranks. He achieved the Emerald rank last night on the, on the 7th of December. And so whatever it is that you think about creating, uh, you know, establishing and, and creating momentum in the month of December, any, if, if, it's, if it's something that you believe makes it difficult, you're wrong. The reason I say you're wrong is because Scott Taylor hit Emerald last night, and he does this part-time. So uh, the, the point I'm trying to illustrate here is why did he achieve this significant rank advancement to the Emerald position? He's now participating in the first pool of Zija. Not only is he getting paid on the organization he's developed, he's now getting paid a piece of Zija's worldwide uh, 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 income through the Emerald Pool. Now, how did he do that? He didn't do it yesterday. The results he had yesterday achieving uh, the Emerald rank were directly related to the activities he did the day before the week before, the month before, the quarter before, the year before. Here's the stages of momentum. First, you must establish momentum. 
And that means putting in energy, talking to people, sharing the product, sharing the opportunity, plugging people in, uh, working with your new people, helping them to develop their story. The second stage of, of, of momentum is sustaining momentum. And how do you sustain momentum? Continuing to do the things that help you establish momentum. Sharing the product, sharing the opportunity, working with the people that want to do the deal. The final stage is advancement of momentum, which is, this is where it gets to be a lot of fun, is when you are working with a group of your team members who are fully engaged in the mission of sharing the Zija products and the Zija opportunity and helping them go through those first two stages of establishing momentum and sustaining momentum. And that's when you start to get that compounding effect, that leverage. In the beginning of establishing momentum, you might put in you know, 10 parts of effort, 10 parts of energy to create one part of momentum. You then eventually get to a point in time as you sustain momentum, you start getting kind of a one-to-one. -one. You get you know, one part of energy is creating one part of momentum. But if you continue that process, and here's the key, you are consistent of do, on doing this. This is becomes part of your daily method of operation, whether you're investing 30 minutes a day into your Zija business, an hour a day into your Zija business, two hours a day into your Zija business, Regardless of what your time availability is, that you have those that concept of good work ethics that you show up every day, even if it's only for 30 minutes. And what happens is you eventually get to that point in time where you are advancing your momentum and you can literally put in one part of energy to create 10 parts of momentum. It doesn't happen overnight. But I can tell you from personal experience at a time when Zija didn't have anywhere near the growth curve that it has today, I was consistent for three years. Three years of a daily method of operation created momentum, sustained momentum, and advanced momentum to a point in time where the Zija business that my team and I were able to create created a phenomenal level of residual income that continues day after day, month after month, year after year. And would it be worthwhile to invest a little bit of time every day over the next 36 months to create a life-changing residual? And, and, and I'll be candid with you folks. Uh, while I'm not that good, I'm good at the things that are important. I show up for work. If it's 30 minutes a day that I committed to, then I show up for work for those 30 days, okay? I focus on being consistent on a daily basis. I follow a simple system, and I don't deviate from the system because it's the system that creates the results, not me, okay? If it was dependent upon me, it would be, uh, you know, a, a miserable failure. But because of that, consistency of effort, that persistence, having, you know, good work ethics, very coachable in the early days, and a burning desire to create not only success for me and my family, but in others. It has created an environment where I could not kill my Zija business today if I tried. If I tried I could not ruin my Zija business because it's no longer dependent upon me. And I'm hoping that these things that I'm sharing with you will be the motivation to listen to those little four little training videos and to follow the, the, the examples I want to give you this morning. Scott Taylor, by the way, a little program note, Scott Taylor is going to be my guest on uh, this upcoming Thursday evening uh, uh, presentation of BizTalks. If you want to hear an incredibly inspiring story, more importantly, if you want to have this story shared with your, you know, potential dis dis uh, distributors, Zija team members, plug into Thursday night. Now, what do new distributors need to do? Number one, get oriented. And I talked about that. My suggestion, watch those four little videos. That's the first step. Get oriented. Understand what it is we do. Number two, get plugged in. 
Okay, don't it, it, Z is such a small little company to uh, you know today relative to the true legacy companies within our industry. Uh, many of you will be the only distributor of Zija that's doing anything within, you know, miles, 100 miles within the state, okay? You, you, you're not going to be in an environment where you can meet, you know, once or twice a week with a group of Zija distributors to get more information, to, to get more direction, to get, you know, motivation and inspiration and to have like-minded people around you. Many of you are going to be out there all by yourself. You need to be plugged in. Now, what do you need to be plugged in to? Let's start with your upline support team. Every single one of you, I don't care who you are, I don't care who your, uh, you know, your, your, your sponsor is, every single one of you is part of an organization that has upline leadership that can really support your efforts. Your upline, you know, bronze, silver, gold, your upline platinums, emeralds, diamonds, there are people out there who have already been able to, you know, unlock the, the, the lock to success. They already understand the process. And you need to plug in to those upline people and their resources. And I'll give you a little clue. Day one in my Zija business, some of you know, uh, David Moses is my sponsor. When I first, and, 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 and be very clear on this, I was already a seven-figure earner long before I joined Zija. It wasn't like I needed help, but I understood the system. And so the very first thing I did was connect with David and identify, number one, how to get a hold of him. How do I contact you? I got, you know, his email, his cell phone, his home phone. Uh, you know, uh, this was this predated our, you know, engagement in social media and that sort of thing. Today, I'd be also, you know, friending him and liking him and on Facebook and all those kinds of things. Now, the second thing I did is I identified his preferred form of communication. How is the best way to reach him? You know, and, and every single one of your upline leaders is going to have a different formula that works for them. For instance, you know, um, me personally, it works best for me if somebody, you know, sets up a, a contact with a, with a text, text me. But if you don't know my cell phone, how are you going to text me? If you're going to call me, um, those of you that I, that I work with directly, you know, I don't answer my cell phone. I work from home. I got to have, uh, where's my phone? Uh, I got to have this. Let's see, uh, uh, you know, in, in my world today, I have to multitask. It, it, it's not possible for me to do one single thing at a time. And so I spend most of my day like this, talking on the phone. I've got an opportunity to have both hands free. Maybe I'm helping mom get up out of her chair or whatever, uh, and I can still do my call. Okay. And so, you know, for me, it would be, you know, contact me via text on my cell phone, call me on the landline. Okay, simple stuff, all right? Um, but everybody has a different way. So get plugged in. Be connected to your upline leaders that can really be able to provide you with the support you're looking for. Now, be clear on this. Some of you are being introduced to Zija, some of you are brand new distributors, and your personal sponsor uh, may have been in, you know, a week longer than you, okay? They may not be the person that can actually help you move forward, and that's okay. That's not their job, okay? Their job, they did in the beginning what they're supposed to do, so, you know, share the product, share the opportunity, teach others to do the same. Teaching others to do the same may be nothing more than directing them to the YouTube channel so they can get the new distributor training videos, Okay. It's much better to be, you know, the traffic director, go here, go there, than be the one that's actually doing the training because it's a lot easier and a lot quicker. So get plugged in to the people that can help you at the level that you want to go. It's very, you know, it, for instance, okay, you're never going to be a championship golfer if you golf with me because I'm not a golfer. I cannot challenge you in golf. I cannot share techniques and strategies that'll make you a better golfer. So don't go to me. Not a, I mean, well, I, 
actually I can teach you how to golf, but I only go to the good golf courses, you know, the ones with the, you know, the dragons and the windmills and that sort of thing. Uh, but if you want to play real golf, I'm not the guy. Get with the people that have already created the results in their business that you're looking for. Now, once you've done that, here's a couple of things. You, the, the, the training videos, they will give you specific uh, information on what it is we do and how we do it. Learn the system, folks. Learn the system. If, if you're, you know, I go back to truck driving, okay? If you're going to drive a truck and you think because you drove a car with a three-speed trans, you know, three-on-the-tree transmission or a four-speed on the floor, and you think because you know how to shift gears, you can jump, jump in an 18-wheeler with a, with a four and four and shift 20 gears, you're wrong two different things okay you need to know what it is that we do learn our system because the system makes up for all of the shortcomings you might have in terms of your ability to present your ability to share your ability to answer questions ability to train now let me give you a couple of uh one two three four specific things to do over the next 24 days and then I'm going to open up for a, a short question and answer session. Uh, we're going to take a break after that. And then right at the top of the hour, 11 o'clock uh, Pacific time, um, what's that, uh, 2 o'clock East Coast time, we'll come back and we'll do a, a short, to, you know, first uh, Saturday of the period team meeting. I like to start the beginning of every single period with a get together where we can all focus together on the, on the forward movement of what the organization is going to do over the next 28 days. So every single one of you for the balance of this year, 24 days we have, uh, have left in this year, you can use every single day to establish momentum in your business to launch 2019 with full momentum. Now, you're going to reason that this is a very special time is you have the ability, first of all, to be in contact with people you wouldn't normally see throughout the year. It's the holidays. People are going to be getting together for Christmas parties, you know, and, and office parties and, uh, you know, whatever. OK, this is a time where people are getting together, dinners and so on and so forth. So you're going to get a chance to naturally engage with people you wouldn't normally be able to engage with uh, directly. Uh, on a one-on-one -on -one basis throughout most of the year. So take advantage of that. Here's another little clue. This is also a time of year that you can reach out to people that you would like to connect with and it not be an artificial uh, type of reaching out. You can reach out to people and connect with people you have, maybe haven't spoken with in months or years because of the holidays. And, and it, it's as simple as, you know, Hi, Bob. Hi, Mary. Wanted to give you a call. Haven't talked to you in a long time, and I've been thinking about you, and I'm hoping you're going to have a wonderful holiday. See, you can do things during the next 24 days that would be very difficult to do during any other part of the year. That's why this, the, you know, the, the months of November and December can be such incredible months in your Zija business, so long as you don't go on vacation. Don't, you know, don't fall asleep because it's the holidays. Now, when you're connecting with people, whether it be somebody you're reaching out to that you haven't spoken with in a long time, whether it's somebody that you haven't seen in a long time, uh, but you're in a social environment, a Christmas party, what have you, a dinner, what have you, here are four things you can do, okay? And I hope you write these down in your notes, okay? Number one, listen. Listen to what's happening in people's lives. Listen to the stories they're telling, because they're going to be telling stories. They're going to be telling stories about what's happening to them today. They're going to be telling the story of what's happening in their family, uh, with their children, with their parents, with their work environment. Listen to people, because if you're listening to people, you're doing the number one activity that will give you information on how you can help people, okay? And be very clear on this. If your motivation to help somebody is strictly because they can make you money, 
That's a false premise, okay? If in your heart of hearts, you're eager to share your product or share your opportunity because you will be able to help others, that's a genuine uh, uh, you know, mindset, a genuine frame of reference that you're coming from, and you will be incredibly successful if you care more about your customers getting positive results on your products than you care about the money you made, if you care more about your new distributors creating financial uh, success in their lives than you care about the financial success that you'll get from them. If that's your motivation, you will be incredibly successful. Selfish people that care only about themselves tend to not do very well in our business. So, number one, listen to the people you're speaking with. They'll share the stories of their lives. Number two, ask questions. There's nothing more valuable that you can offer somebody than to show your interest in their story. Ask questions. You know, tell me why that is. Tell me more about that. What is it that's making you want to look for a new career next year? Why are you so interested in losing weight? Because they're going to give you more information. They're going to talk about how the job environment stress is killing them. They're going to talk about how the job absorbs their life. They don't have the time for their children and their loved ones and so on how the doctor is saying they're going to put them on diabetes medication or cholesterol med. If you ask questions, they will share more. Number three, ask permission. Because when you've gotten all of this information and you've learned what the, the person you're talking to needs, not what you want to tell them, but rather what they need, then ask permission to offer help. Okay, you know, Mary, you know, I, I, I really, you know, I'm concerned too that, you know, the doctor says if you don't lose some weight, you're going to be, you know, your blood sugar starting to go out of control or, you know, your cholesterol is out of control or whatever. Um, ask permission. You know, I'm, I'm concerned about that. Uh, would it be okay with you if I shared something that's helped a friend of mine be able to, you know, uh, lose weight? bring their, you know, their blood panels back into, you know, into control, uh, you know, whatever. Okay. Would it be okay with you? If I could, would you want to know? Ask permission. And then assuming that you get permission and folks, it's not an assumption. It's not an if, if you are genuinely expressing your concern and desire to help, the person you're speaking with, and it could be, frankly, a, 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 a you know a stranger that you were introduced to at a office party. But if they sense that you have that love in your heart, that that's your true reason for offering them some help, they will be interested. They will give you permission. Now, here's the key: number four. Don't share the product. Don't describe the ingredients. Don't go through the mechanics and the concepts of network marketing. Okay? It's not the information that is going to make a difference. Share the stories. Share the stories. Number four, share the stories. Well, yeah, I, I, I'd love to learn more about that. And then share the story. Well, you know, one of the people that supports, uh, you know, supports me in the home with my mom uh, was, has had, you know, ongoing, you know, blood sugar issues for many years. She started using our super mix and the doctors have said that her A1C level is back down to normal. They've cut down on her medication. And if she continues that way, they're going to take her off her diabetes medication. It's incredible. See, if you're sharing the story, it's the stories of results. You know, uh, the, you know it, it could be, uh, well, you know, my friend Scott Taylor, you know, he's successful in, in his line of work, but he doesn't have any residual income. And he's been able to build a, on a part-time basis, residual income that he knows 
no matter what happens to him, because his, you know, his line of work, his livelihood is based around his physical ability to move around, if something were to happen to him, he's going to have ongoing income. Share the stories. Share the stories of people's results on our products. Share the stories on, of people's results in our business. And you will get people who are genuinely interested in learning more. And when that time comes, when they're interested in learning more, be very clear, the environment that you're speaking to them in is not the right time to share the information. But you've piqued the interest. They're genuinely interested. They've heard stories of people that, you know, that are really not a lot different than them that have been able to get the results that they desire. And you will be able to get a phone number, get an email address, get a commitment to spending time with them, and then do the system. Okay, invitation, presentation, validation. Okay, do the system. So, this is a time of year that you have opportunities that you will not have again for many, many months until we get to the next holiday season of 2009. You have 24 days that you can create some significant momentum. Wouldn't you like to wake up January 1 and know that you've got a list of you know, 12, 13, 15 people that want to hear about your product or want to hear about your opportunity? Or, you know, five or 10 or 15 people that started this month because of the engagement you had tonight at a Christmas party. So you can establish the momentum, do four things. Listen to people, smile and nod and listen, be interested. Ask questions, number two, ask questions. They will share more information with you. Number three, ask permission to offer solutions ask permission. Number four, share the stories. The stories are more important than your knowledge of the product or network marketing as a, you know, distribution business model. So uh, that's what I wanted to offer you. I'm going to take a few minutes and if we have a couple of questions or what have you, uh, I will take that. And then we'll jump back on here uh, at the top of the hour to complete the uh, morning with our, uh, you know, first. Um, uh, 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 Saturday of the period team meeting. And what do we got going here? Let's move this up a little bit. All right. Uh, Michael Stackman loves the dance. Thank you, sir. Travis, good to see you, my friend. Uh, uh, listen, care, ask, share. Wow, Amy. See, here's another little clue. Surround yourself with people who are a lot better than you. Amy McKenzie just, just made a comment. Uh, you know, kind of reflecting on what I said, listen, care, ask, share, man, I wish I could have said that. So, uh, we'll do one last call. Let's see, Travis. Hey, 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 Travis, you hit builder 500 last night. Good for you, buddy. Congratulations. I'm telling you what rank advancements are happening so fast. It's impossible to be able to keep up with this. Uh, got a lot this time reflecting back. Very good. Very good. Uh, thank you, Diana. Uh, any questions, anything that I can help with at the moment, folks? Um, we'll give her once, we'll give her twice. Um, all right, let's do this. Uh, I'm going to take a little break here. I'm going to check in with mom. Uh, we will be back at the top of the hour. We're going to do kind of a short team meeting. Um, and because I know there's a lot of you that aren't necessarily part of my personal organization. Uh, this is not restricted to, you know, our team. This is open to anybody. Um, there are many leaders doing the same thing right now for Saturday of the morning uh, team meetings. Uh, but we'll be back here in, in a couple of minutes. Uh, right at the top of the hour, I will start up. Uh, until then, you, you're welcome just to stay connected to, uh, to, to this website or you can, you know, log off and rejoin on the same link. And uh, I look forward to seeing all of you uh, here in about 19 minutes, it looks like to me. All right, we'll talk soon. Take care.